All right, so today I want to cut a clutch of ball python eggs that I have up in my incubator. As a matter of fact, out of that whole clutch of eggs, I only had one viable egg. It's just one egg that I'm going to check out today. And as a matter of fact, that whole clutch was mostly slugs with kind of this weird boob egg that popped out. This is actually from my bumblebee ball python. And as a matter of fact, that bumblebee, she is crazy. Every time I open the tub, she tries to bite me. I don't know. I don't know what's gotten into that bumblebee, but she's like the most aggressive ball python I've ever seen. And in that bumblebee, she's also possible head pied. I was actually trying to breed her to my albino pied to prove it out. And she's also possible yellow belly. So as a matter of fact, if I actually get a, if I actually get a hatchling out of this, it could be a visual pied. It could be a pumpkin pied if it has the yellow belly in it. And you never know breeding an albino to something like this that has never been bred with an albino. If she does carry a copy of the albino, we can actually get something like an albino pied, which I think the odds are pretty slim, but you never know. I was actually breeding my desert ghost male to some random females and popped out a visual desert ghost. Didn't even know the female was head for desert ghost. So sometimes when you're breeding recessives through your collection, sometimes you can actually prove out some genes that you never knew even existed in some of your females, which is pretty awesome. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull that one single egg out of the incubator and we'll cut it open and take a peek. As a matter of fact, I actually opened the tub a little bit and took a sniff and it didn't smell like it was bad. We're about three days away from day day 60 and based on like a sniff test which is usually pretty accurate and kind of the egg is kind of dimpling down a little bit I'm thinking we may actually get a hatchling out of that egg which would be pretty awesome all right, so here we go, the one egg clutch. As a matter of fact, I was just thinking about this. If this girl is actually head albino, which, you know, you never know if something is head for something that's kind of floating around in your collection that you don't really know. If she is head for albino, probably the best odds that we could get would be something like an albino spider pie, an albino spider pumpkin pie or something like that. That would be pretty awesome. Of course, if we actually do get something, you know, with my odds, we'll probably get like a normal ball python. And this one is looking pretty fuzzy. Look at how fuzzy that is. Super kind of moldy. As a matter of fact, I was thinking about putting some springtails in some of these eggs, egg boxes. Someone actually mentioned that yes last year, and I hadn't really done it. And you can definitely tell I have these little fungus gnats still kind of taken off in my in my reptile collection here after all the battles with fungus gnats I'm still fighting out. So in this one, such what I'm gonna do. I'm not sure if this is actually a vine egg or not so what I'm gonna do I might just kind of cut it open just a little bit to kind of see what's inside of this egg I don't know if there's much hope for this one just kind of picking it up and feeling it doesn't really have a lot of hope it is pretty goopy on the inside I want to zoom in just a little bit so you can kind of see what I'm doing here with this thing this is I don't know if this is a good idea cutting this open or not. <laughs> I have to get a piece of paper towel here. This is going to be messy. It might smell really bad on the inside. So we'll see if there's actually a little snake in here or not. It'll be kind of interesting to see if we get anything in this egg. That's kind of crazy here. Let's take a look. Ooh, oh, 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 oh. Wow, it looks like, hey, it looks like we might actually have a snake in there take a look at this whoa that is wow take a look at that what do you know as a matter of fact wow it, was, it almost looks it almost looks like uh almost looks like a pied that's kind of crazy huh wow that's got a lot of goop in there I can't really see what it is, but it almost looks, take a look at that, that almost looks like there is a pied in there. It looks really super white, which is kind of crazy. As a matter of fact, I'm thinking if that is a pied, it might be like a spider pied, which is even more crazy. Huh. Wow, that is pretty awesome. A lot of white. It looks like it's completely white. So I'm thinking that is a spider pie because a spider pie has a little bit of color on the head. I can't really see the head on this one, but it looks like it's completely white, meaning that it's either uh, a spider pie. As a matter of fact, I almost can see, uh, I really can't see the head on that one. 
So it looks like it's either a spider pine or like a, it could be like a pastel spider pine or something like that. Or it could be like a white wedding, which is a completely white sp uh, pied with no color at all. That is pretty awesome. <laughs> I can't believe I actually got, it looks like I got a pied out of that combination. That is pretty crazy. All right, so there you have it. That is pretty incredible that we actually hatched out a visual pied on that single egg from that pairing. As a matter of fact, that is actually my very first visual pied that I ever produced in my entire collection. Pretty amazing that I actually produced it with that pairing with a possible head pied on that female. As a matter of fact, I actually put that up in my incubator and we'll wait a few days for it to completely come out. But based on the color of the head, we should be able to tell what other genes are in the mix in that combination. So if it comes out with a normal looking head then we know we have a spider pied but if it comes out with a yellow head then we'll know we have a pastel spider pied and if it comes out with like a pumpkin orange colored head then we know we hit the yellow belly spider pied and if it comes out really super orange sometimes the combination of the yellow belly and the pastel can make a really bright fluorescent orange color in a lot of your pied combinations if it comes out with a fluorescent orange head then we know we have the pastel yellow belly spider pied which would be really awesome so what I'm going to do is kind of at the end here, I'm going to leave you with some drone footage. I'm going to kind of pull through some of my archives from some of my older videos and kind of copy my older drone footage. I know a lot of people are really kind of really enjoying the drone. I have a drone and I just kind of fly it around my property and kind of check out what's going on here at the farm. So that is pretty much it. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.